Hey YouTube Quilters, it's Joe here. I'm back with another Monday update. I'm going to talk a little bit about binding, going to talk about a new quilt guild, and did you know that there are three quilts a woman's supposed to make before she's married? Hmm. All right, stick around. Okay guys, welcome back. So let's get started talking about my quilting class. This was the beginner's quilting um, series. Um, it was um, about six classes. Um, there was four classes of making an actual um, table runner, and then one class of machine quilting, and one class of binding. So this last class that I attended was the binding class. I took in the small um, placemat thing I was working on, and I just binded that because it would be too hard to bind something big in that little of a time. Um, for my first time, I don't think it's that bad, but my placemat was not squared up, so, um, the backing is kind of off, but let's, it's not finished just yet, but let's just look. So, um, I machine quilted it to the front, and then we pulled it around to the back. So as you can see, my backing is a little bit longer than my front. Um, these were two and a half inch um, strips folded in half. Um, but I did the invisible hem stitch, which I kind of actually really like. It was really relaxing. Um, but this is the finished piece if I finish this side over here. Um, I actually like binding. Um, here's my mitered corners. Um, Binding is actually not uh, too bad. I enjoyed doing the hand um, hem stitch. It was very relaxing. So this was done for our last class. Um, there was only two of us in the class. Um, everyone else got sick or had other things come up. Um, I don't think binding's that hard. Um, I did learn about, you know, if I'm ever going to show a quilt that my binding has to be perfect, um, filled, um, perfect on both sides and my stitching has to be very even and, um, top quality. So I have some practice to do, but, um, I don't mind it. I asked what class I should take next if I take another class and, um, my instructor said that I could take any of the advanced classes or any class that I wanted because um, she said I did really really well she said I have a gift for it so I'm excited to learn some more things uh, but I, I do like how when I go into the quilt shop I see a whole bunch of stuff that I'm like I'm gonna do that and that so I'm really excited to be able to learn these new skills and share them with you um, it's really helpful getting your guys' um, thoughts and opinions on some of the stuff. Um, and thank you all for following me on Instagram and showing me some stuff and tagging me in things. I still don't know how to work Instagram, so I am working on that. It is not complex, I'm sure, but I just don't get it. Um, I posted some videos of me uh, machine quilting over the weekend. And that took quite a while for me to learn how to post those um, videos, or sorry, those pictures. Um, so I will continue to learn Instagram. So continue to add me and follow me. Um, the link to my Instagram will be below. At least I know that, which I think it's at quilting on Ambien. I don't know. Check down below. Um, yeah, so I am enjoying seeing everything that you guys do, um, going and creeping on your channels and seeing if you have videos. Um, so thank you, and um, I'm really glad I started this channel. So if you are watching and you're thinking of starting a channel, you should go ahead and do it because um, the quilting community on YouTube is awesome. Um, Quilt Guild. So when I was at class um, tonight, uh, there was um, a sign on the door saying that they were going to be starting a new quilt guild. So 
I talked to the teacher about it, and I'm going to go to their first meeting. Um, it's just going to be like a starting meeting. They're going to think they're thinking they'll have about 25 people. Um, the other Quill Guild I belong to, like I said, there's like 90 people. Um, I'm not a huge crowd person, so avoiding 90 people, if I can, would be um, in my best interest, I think. So that Quilt Guild, um, I think, is going to be a good networking opportunity for me to learn all about quilting and the do's and the don'ts of the quilting world. Um, quilting's going fine, but I think that I'm failing at life. Um, I don't know how, but I burnt Sloppy Joe's tonight in a crock pot. I mean, a crock pot is the easiest thing to use. Sloppy Joe's is the easiest thing to make, and yet I burnt Sloppy Joe's. And I don't know if you've ever burnt Sloppy Joe's or smelled burnt Sloppy Joe's, but it's the worst smell in the world. So I am trying to get the smell out of my apartment. Um, I don't know. I... I don't know. I just don't know. Um, you know, actually, I'm going to think Amazon Prime now for this because now that they added a delivery fee um, to their um, deliveries, I am not ordering from them anymore. I was ordering from them probably like five nights a week. Um, but now it's like six ninety nine to order from Amazon Prime now. And I don't know. I'm not going to pay like 12 bucks to get food delivered. I just, unless I'm desperate, but I'm really not. So I can cook if I just focus on it. But yeah, burn sloppy joes. Okay, three quilts a woman's supposed to make before she gets married. If you haven't watched um, Alias Grace yet, it is a nice little mini-series on Netflix. Um, it's a little bit dark, so go into it open-minded, and if you don't like dark stuff, I wouldn't watch it. Um, there's murder and mystery in it, but it is all based around quilting, which I didn't even know that when I started watching it, but it was just awesome to hear these quilting references throughout and um, know what they were talking about. But in this one scene, um, she talks about three quilts a woman should make before she's married, and... Um, the three are the Tree of Paradise, the Flower Basket, and the Pandora's Box. Um, she talks about how these are the women's flags. And um, sometimes uh, after a woman has made all three and she's married, um, she'll hang them all up on the line at once. Um, it's a really good miniseries. And if you're into quilting, I think you would actually really like it. Um, like I said, it's a little dark, but... So if anyone wants to team up with me, um, we can make these three quilts together in 2018. Um, you know, even if you are married, you probably should make them. I think she says you have to make them by hand, but that's not happening. Um, well, it could happen, but I doubt it would happen. I don't have enough time to make a whole quilt by hand. But um, that would be fun, but no. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have time, I would check out that mini series. Um, I am still updating my quilt studio. I will um, start filming in there as soon as it's all done. Um, it's a nice sized room with uh, really tall ceilings, so I can make a quilt or two and hang on the wall. It's um, really comfortable in there. I like it uh, better than my living room kitchen. Um, and I got an Echo Dot in there now, so I can listen to music and quilt all at the same time. Um, but yeah, so that's really all I have for my Monday update. Um, I should be getting some boxes soon, so I can do some unboxing. Um, I probably won't get this video out to you until Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, but I hope you guys are having... A good week um, it's really cold here in Ohio don't know where you're at but it's cold um, Christmas is right around the corner uh, I have none of my Christmas shopping done um, once again hashtag fail at life but um, yeah I've just been busy with work and quilting all right guys so if quilting on Ambien is entertaining and you're enjoying the channel go ahead and like comment and subscribe and check back for future videos. All right.
Bye. I don't know, but this big bushy beard. I'm so tired.